just want to get from you what you think the value of all that is. Yeah, I think one of the neatest things about cooking and recipes in particular is how easy it is to sort of make them your own and stir your own personality into them. I mean, really, the, the, the essence of a recipe is that it's just a starting point, and the journey is just as important as the destination. And a good, well-written recipe is the sort of thing that you can freestyle, you can riff off of it. And perhaps the best way to do that is by simply reading it, understanding what it is you're being asked to do, and look, looking for the insight behind it, and fundamentally understanding that to be successful with a recipe, you don't have to do it exactly the way the person who wrote the recipe does it, but really what's more important is that you find a way to stir your own ideas into it. It really is that simple. Okay, and so do you think that, I mean, how do you feel about open source recipe sharing and like utilizing the internet to expand these, you know, base works for people to... Sure. You know, there's a rather interesting trend that started to emerge recently called open source recipe sharing. And I'm not 100% sure how it's going to work because recipes are, you know, they're a little bit different than say just a, you know, an entry in Wikipedia, for instance, because recipes are fundamentally, they're very personal and all of us have different ideas about what makes, say, a, a perfect chocolate chip cookie. So it's going to be interesting to see how the trend evolves and where it ends up going. But for the moment, I find it kind of fascinating. I think it's, it's a valid thing to do. Let's, you know, let's see what we can do when we collaborate on what a perfect recipe should be. I, I find it really interesting how social networking and new media forms have really revolutionized the whole idea of what recipes are and what food is and what they can be. And, and the way that ideas can fly around the globe so quickly now and how influences from one culture can mash up with influences from another culture. I think all of that's really fascinating and interesting as long as it fundamentally comes from a place of flavor first and uses local ingredients and it's respectful of the traditions that surround all of us. I mean, that's what cuisine has always been a part of.